Uh, hello, everybody. I'm Slashem VC. This is Vulture for Slashem. We're following the continuing adventures of Nygrath Zugu the Eliminator, experience level 4 on dungeon level 4. And uh, Nygrath had to come up against one of those difficult decisions, you know, a crisis of equipment and identity. Um, I had thought about picking up a crossbow and some crossbow bolts. Mostly because they fit in with the idea of the Undead Slayer. You know, but what fits in better than the pistol and the 39 silver bullets? I mean, how many weapons are we going to carry? We're burdened, in other words. With 15 strength, it's no surprise. Um, unlike NetHack, by the way, Slashem is reporting our weight. We have got 734 of 725 possible weight before burdens, so... It's nice to know exactly how much weight you need to get rid of. However, we are going to drop everything which isn't absolutely necessary. In other words, the four daggers, the crossbow, and the crossbow bolts. But there you go. We're going to stick with our identity as undead slayers who carry... Ooh! Uh, who carry a wooden stake... Uh, hit with their bare hands and occasionally shoot a pistol loaded full of silver bullets. Okay, we have put the gnome to sleep and killed him. Uh-oh. Somebody's carrying a wand of striking. Oh, that could be so dangerous. I need somewhere to hide from that wand of striking until I can... heal up a little bit. Try to stand right here. Is this the guy? There. Hopefully he was the one that had the wand. He wasn't. Okay, let's hang out here. The gnome Lord. I put him to sleep with the first hit, thankfully. Okay. And he was the one that had the wand of striking. Yeah, that could have been a really bad situation. Alright. What was everybody carrying? You had darts. I'm not interested in the dart skill anymore than I'm interested in the crossbow anymore. Let's eat us a gnome and just hang out for a bit. Get healed back up after that sudden round of combat. Good way to start an episode, isn't it? Wand of striking. Low HP. Gang of angry gnomish creatures. Obviously, none of that stuff is cursed because <clears throat> our puppy is walking all over it. Speaking of that, do we have anything we need to curse identify? Nah. Okay. Actually, if there were any shoes here. Are there any shoes? No. Okay. Alright, let's proceed to look for the way down. Oh, yeah, here's something I'd like to know whether it's cursed. Ah, cloak, shoes, and a dagger. Cool. Let's see if our pup will step on that. Ow. Dwarf. All right, the dog has leveled up. Pretty much my thinking is any other type of undead slayer. Ooh, dung worm. Can I put him to sleep? Not if I keep missing him. I've missed him four times in a row. Five times in a row, and he hits me. There's two dung worms now. Okay, time to run. Do have a wand of striking for ranged attacks. Let's use it. Come on now. Try that again. Okay, I think we killed both dung worms with one shot of the wand and gained experience level 5. What's this? Dung worm corpse? Yep. And dart trap. Yep, we did another close call early on into this episode. Let's get over here and see if this armor is cursed. If puppy will walk over it, we'll know it's safe to try on. Come here and... Yeah, he did. Okay. Bring that stuff back, dog. I want to try that armor on. Dang, he just took that armor and ran with it, didn't he? 
Where did he go? Doggy. Bring the armor back. Well, there is one of them. The iron shoes. 1 point of AC. I think it was. All right, what'd you do with the cloak, dog? He still carrying it around or where did he drop it? Oh, there they are. Okay. Both of these cloaks should be wearable. And there's some other shoes. Let's trade off the shoes we've got. AC2, AC4. Oh, they were giving us two points of AC. All right, these on. Two points of AC. Okay. So, no difference. That dwarvish cloak gave us zero AC. Uh, there. And this one, huh, neither one of them grants any AC at all. Interesting. And we're burdened. Well, we really need to build up our strength. We could eat this food ration. That should take off the burden. Okay. Managing our burden until our strength increases is going to be a challenge, I believe. Uh, I've seen Undead Slayers who started with 18 strengths, which is a lot better. Oop, Roth. We rarely see one Roth by itself. A glass orb. Now this could be a... Oh, I have 19 wisdom, I just realized. That's amazing. Uh, my intelligence is 7. I think I could be one-shotted by a Master Mind Flare with a 7 intelligence. Um... I don't think I can use a glass orb. It's also heavy, but let's try it. The glass orb is too much to comprehend, yeah. So that's a, uh, what you would call it? What do you call, oh, a uh, crystal ball. Probably worth some uh, money to sell in a shop. But you have to have an intelligence stat, I think, of 18 to use a crystal ball. Oops, hello, there's a dog here. I... do I need two dogs? Probably. Oops. Throw... Let's throw him a... Oh, a lichen corpse. Oh, wait a minute, dogs don't eat lichen, do they? Here we have a peaceful sheep. You know, I'm curious why they've added sheep, lambs, and goats to the game. I think one would be plenty. Gnome. Carrying daggers. Well, this has been a real adventure exploring this uh, level of the mines. Already, and we haven't even gotten to Mine Town. Hey, check it out. Dwarven zombies have spawned. Let's get our uh, wooden stake out. Uh oh. Just got attacked from behind. Gray dragon. Not cool. Um, I don't know what the best way out of this situation is. It's probably going to be to engrave Elbereth. Okay. I really don't want to face more than one monster at a time. Hopefully the dogs will take out the uh, dragon for us. Or maybe we can put the dragon to sleep. Wow. Or not. As you can see, Elbra still works pretty much the same way in Slash Him as it does in NetHack. Alright, dogs, if you guys don't... Oop! The r Rabid Rabbit. 
Look at this. A rabid rabbit. It looks like they use the same icon as a rabbit. You can even see his eye is red. It's great. Late for a date turns to flee. Alright, guys. Are the dogs attacking the rabbit? I hope so. I'm just going to stand here and heal up for a bit. I don't. This is going to be the end of our run, and nobody wants that. Uh, Rock Mole just cut its way in. Nice. Hopefully the rabbit rabbit named late for a date is dead. 30 HP. Looks like the rabbit's dead. Alright. I think we could probably wield our wooden stake now. And go after these zombies. Wherever they went. If I can get in here. I'm carrying too much to get in this narrow passage. Well, never mind. It's too late to chase them down. What did this rock mall cut through? This way? Okay. Maybe these passageways come out. Nope. In the same place? They don't. Okay. Can't get through there. There's too many open spaces in this level. It takes some real searching to find the staircase down. Double check, because sometimes I find the staircase down and don't realize that I did. Um. Oh, hey, I found the zombies. Oh, these are elf zombies. Elf corpses. All left corpses. Whoa, Leprechaun just stole my money. Head mauled. Okay, no staircase there. Let's have a look. Nice that these walls are here. You can see what you haven't explored. We didn't get a real good look up here yet. Go ahead and just use the map a little bit easier. What's that? Peaceful sheep. Okay. Get out of the way, sheep. Alright. Hmm. Those staircases. Ah, there it is. At last, we found the staircase down. And to a lit level. Nice. Let's, um... Oop. Stop wielding this wooden stake so we can maybe put the hobbit to sleep oh nice elven mithril that's going on um wait let's drop the mithril until we get some of these monsters out of the way there we go we can take off our cloak we can take off our chainmail drop our chainmail Matter of fact, I don't think we need the cloak at all. Because it's not giving us any protection. And besides, I'm a drow and it's a dwarven cloak, so... Yuck. Alright, let's see what this mithril is going to do for us. Oh yes, very nice. Considerably more protection. Now if we could just find a nice protective cloak and a better helmet, it would be really good shape. Come on puppies, we're going down. A gnome thief. I don't like those thieves. They tend to be just as bad as the nymphs. Oh, and they've changed the way that they look. Looks really cool. So that's what a dwarf thief looks like, huh? That's cool. They used to look just like dwarves. Now they've got their own icon. Nice. I'm going to change to my uh, ranged weapon. Let's fire the pistol. Boom. 
One shot kill on the Dwarf Thief. Well, thanks for joining me, guys. Looks like my bullet's gone. Yeah. Time for me to wrap this episode up. We've obviously made it to the shop level. So, next episode, we'll see what's for sale. See ya.